A, an, the, or zero articles? The articles in English are both very simple and quite confusing. Mistakes in using articles are the most common. The articles in English are used very often. Hi there, and welcome to Ling Portal Online School. Today, we will be learning articles with the clear explanation of the basic principles, rules, and exceptions. As you know, there are many exceptions in English. And, of course, we'll do several exercises. So, let's begin. Have a look at the sentence. Can you put your book on table? Which article should be used? A or an? The or zero article? You will find the answer a little bit later, don't worry. Obviously, native English speakers have assimilated all the features of using articles from childhood. Those for whom English is not a native language should remember the rules for using the articles. Fortunately, it is not difficult. An article is a grammatical unit that is used as a function word to define a noun. The articles can be used with any noun, a person, place, idea or object. These are the following types of articles that are used in spoken and written languages. The definite article, the. The indefinite article, a or an. And zero article, when the article is not used. The articles have no independent meaning. Moreover, they are not translated into other languages. Nevertheless, they serve as indicators of the noun and participate in the formation of grammatical structure. Technically, they serve as an adjective that is used to define a noun in speech. For example, Give me a pen. This sentence refers to any pen. Therefore, we use the indefinite article a, a pen. Give me the pen that I presented to you. This sentence refers to a specific pen. So, we put the article the before the noun pen. As you can see from the examples, articles express the category of definiteness or indefiniteness of a noun. The is the definite article and means that, those, this, these. A or an are indefinite articles and refer to any, one. The article is placed directly before the noun to which it refers and if a noun is preceded by a definition, adjective or adverb, then the article is placed before the phrase. For example, a paper, the white paper, a day, the first day. To make it easier to remember the use of articles in English, it will be more efficient in the beginning to memorise the cases when they are not used. We do not use articles in the following cases. With uncountable nouns such as flour, honey, sugar, milk, etc. For example, I like honey. Please note, if we speak about some specific part, we use article the. For example, the milk is very cold for the baby. With uncountable nouns that have abstract meanings, such as love, weather, art, etc. Please note, if we speak about the specific concept, we use the. For example, I like the music from that movie. With proper names, Mike, Big Ben, Heathrow Airport, etc. Please note, if the name contains of, we use the. The Great Wall of China is very long. With names of countries, cities, streets, lakes, for example, Turkey, Dublin, Lake Baikal, etc. 
with the names of religion, for example, Islam, Christianity, Buddhism, etc. With food, months, days of the week, for example, dinner, December, Friday, etc. With music styles, such as jazz, rock, etc. With titles followed by names, Admiral Smith, Princess Laura, etc. With such collocations as to go to bed, at night, by mistake, by train, from time to time, to be at home, to take part, by accident, day by day, etc. Before plural nouns that mean general concept, for example, girls like shopping, girls refers to a general meaning. The nouns radio, television are normally used without article. Please note, if there are to listen to or to hear in the sentence, we use the with the word radio. For example, he is listening to the radio now. Sometimes the articles are not used in newspaper headlines. This fact should be taken into account, taking the absence of articles for a grammatical error. I hope everything is clear. Now, let's complete a quiz to check how well you know the articles. You have 10 seconds to choose the correct answer. Water is very important for our lives. Irregular verbs should be learnt by heart. Colonel Tom Smith served for 30 years. Did you get it right? Brilliant! Well, let's continue to master the articles. So far, let's take a look at each of the articles in order to remember and apply them confidently and competently. And we will begin with the definite article, the. The definite article is the word the that is used with singular or plural nouns to indicate a specific thing or object. Here are some examples which demonstrate the above statement. A tree grows in a garden. It means any tree and any garden. A tree grows in the city garden. It means any tree in the certain garden. That is why we use the indefinite article a with tree and the definite article the with garden. The apple tree grows in the city garden. Imagine we are talking about specific tree in the city garden. So in this case, we use the before the words tree and garden because they both mean definite things. I hope you understand the logic of using the definite article the in English. Let's summarize the situations in which we use the definite article the. Here are situations when the article the should be used. With nouns that are mentioned again, for example, it was a great game. We enjoyed the game a lot. Article the is used before game in the second sentence because it refers to the same game. With nouns that are referring to a person or thing which are known to a collocutor, for example, thank you for the CD. This means that both interlocutors know which disc is mentioned. With unique nouns. There are a lot of examples of unique nouns. The internet, the universe, the sky, etc. You can go on. The best, the north, the world, the environment, etc. For example, what is the longest river in the world? He is the president of our company. Here comes the sun, the Beatles. Please note, we use the with the word weather when we are talking about weather in general. 
but if there is an adjective before the word weather, then the article is not used. For example, in spring, the weather is often sunny. I like sunny weather. With the names of oceans, rivers, mountains, deserts, for example, where is the Thames? I've never been to the Sahara Desert. With the names of musical instruments, for example, I play the piano. We use the article the with words like the following same, right, left, first, last, next, wrong, only. For example, it was the first time when I saw the Prime Minister. With words cinema, theatre, when indicating a location, I have never been to the theatre. By the way, it is useful to memorise so-called fixed phrases or collocations, which come with the article. You might want to write them down. In the morning. On the way. The day before yesterday. What's the time? On the right. On the left. In the night. Well, do you mind passing a quick quiz? Yes, perfect. OK then, you have 10 seconds to choose the correct answer. Please answer the phone. Would you like to buy a car? She entered the entrance door. Did you get it right? Perfect. Let us move further. Now, it's time to master the indefinite articles, a or an. In English grammar, the indefinite article is used only with singular nouns and gives a general concept of a subject. The indefinite article has two forms, a and an. The article a is used before words that begin with a consonant sound, a bridge, a table, a horse. The article an is used before words that begin with a vowel sound, an egg, an invitation, an umbrella. Please note, article an is used before a noun that begins with a vowel sound, not letter. The indefinite article is used only with singular countable nouns. The indefinite article is used in the following cases. When we are talking about something general, a person, thing, not specific. Could you give me a knife? A knife means any knife. When we're mentioning about a subject for the first time, but when we speak about the same subject for the second time, we use the article. For example, I saw a car yesterday. The car looks like an old school model. When it comes to professions, for example, he is a musician. My brother is a car mechanic. When we talk about time and measurements, Apples are one dollar a kilo. I go shopping twice a week. 60 kilometers an hour. But when we point to the unit of time, plural form, the article is not needed. For example, I go shopping every two weeks. The indefinite article is used with exclamations. What a lovely day. Such a nice bag. When we speak about illnesses, for example, a cold, a headache, etc. If there is an adjective before the noun, then the article is placed before the adjective. I feel a little bit depressed. He is a good boy. But remember, when we use the superlative word best with boy, then the definite article is used. He is the best boy I ever met. Please memorise the collocations with the indefinite articles. A great number of. Have a rest.
to be in a hurry. Make a mistake. Take a seat. As a result, give a lift. Go for a walk. Why don't you pass another test of knowledge of articles? My wife couldn't find a soap at the shop. Will you call me in an hour? She is a pretty girl. I have no doubt that you understand the logic behind using the articles. During the time you learn the language, mistakes will disappear. But now, please pay attention to the following common mistakes and avoid them. Don't use indefinite article a or an with plural nouns. Don't use indefinite article a or an with uncountable nouns. Finally. Don't forget that practice makes perfect. So it's bye for me, and I'll see you next time for another new grammar topic. Bye.